All right, take care. All right, so if you have a question about real estate, 704-570-1110, we'll do our best to help you and give us a call and we'll give you an answer should you, should you, can you, can't you, what <laughs> might you be able to do? All right. Okay, Preston, let's yes. talk a little bit about this pre-listing inspection because, I, like I said earlier, I'm a big advocate of that. And sure. I think it has a lot of advantages. And first and foremost, uh, it reveals problems way ahead of time. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, and that's that's two of the biggest advantages, Paul. Um, it gives the seller time to get competitive offers from competitive contractors, and you know, and get uh, multiple referrals. You know, to find out, you know, check the contractor's background, and just get the best price uh, for the house. And it also eliminates the buyer's ability. Um, Let's say you got a ten thousand dollar problem. You know, you got some joists and stuff like yeah. that. Um, the buyer could come in there with their brother-in-law and say, "Oh yeah, that's twenty-eight thousand dollars. We want that off the price of the house." But if you get a pre-inspection, you could probably get multiple bids. Could probably get that ten thousand dollar problem fixed for eight. And you know, and the buyer can't have come in with an inflated uh, thing to get them down on the price. That's just one of the biggest advantages. But there's a whole lot more advantages to it as well. Yeah, you know, I I I want to make a general statement first of all, and that is, is I think one of the biggest advantages is all of those things you mentioned, but if you really think about it, right now, if you want to have some work done by a general contractor, mm -hmm. if, they, if you call them up and you say, hey Preston, can you come over tomorrow and fix the issue I've got in my crawl space, and they say, sure, I'll be there first thing in the morning, Right. you, you better run. <laughs> because every contractor that's worth their salt right now is so daggum busy, you got to schedule ahead. That's right, that's right. Well, and you know, another part of that, Paul, if they know you're up against the wall with a real estate transaction in the mix versus okay. I'm uh, interviewing multiple contractors to give me a bid on this work, mm -hmm. what do you think the difference in the price will be? It's going to be substantial. Right, right. It's because a, they're going to have to move somebody and make it worth their while to move. Right, right. And, and you know, in other words, you know, one, one says, you've got the job, charge me whatever you want. The other one says, hey, I'm getting competitive offers for the uh, person who can do it for the right amount of money. So, right. you know, just, you know, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> and that the, a pre-inspection allows you to have the best option. Right, and that's your next point. It says a seller's inspection lightens the negotiations on the 11th hour. That's correct. That's correct. You know, uh, cost-wise and otherwise. Right, and um, you know, one of the big gurus says it's fi it fireproofs the deal because, you know, typically when you uh, make an offer on a house and it goes back and forth, the sellers come down as much as they're going to come down. The buyers come up as much as they're going to come up. They've agreed on a number, and then all of a sudden you have this inspection and there's eight thousand dollars worth of damage. Uh oh, you know, and the seller yeah. thinks they're letting it go for too little, and you know, and just if we got that on the front end, we could have dealt with it and. You you know, probably got competitive bids, but you know, we would have had time to deal with it and keep this deal from going south. Right, and and also to your point, we've got about a minute before the break. The when you they walk into a house, um, they may have some things that they see that have they have some suspicions about, and this, if that inspection is there, eliminates that. Oh, absolutely. They walk in, and you know, they they see a spot the or something like that. Um, you know, they're like, whoa, what are they hiding? Or they, it's just been painted. That's a, a good one. What yeah. are they covering up? But, you know, if there's an inspection report right there on the kitchen table and they can look at it and, you know, we've yeah. tested for moisture, you know, it alleviates the, the buyer's suspicion that the seller might be hiding something. Yeah. And, and you know, um, yeah. in houses, houses that are not new, you know, there are little things that have happened that have been fixed, and the sellers there or the other agents not always there to answer those questions. Absolutely. And sometimes that report can answer those questions. All right, we're getting ready to go to break. This is the Show Your Real Estate Today. I'm Paul Jameson here with Preston Sandlin from Home Inspection Carolina. We're here talking about real estate, 704-570-1110, 704-570-1110. Stay with us here on 1110-993-WBT.